So now that we've decided how we're going to machine the part, we just need to now set the tool paths. And so we're going to use the quarter inch end mill to contour out all of the larger shapes, and then we're going to use a drill bit to um, drill all the holes, the small holes. And so let's just use the um, drill bit to drill the holes first, and then we'll switch tools, and we'll go to a quarter inch end mill to do all the contour. So to drill the holes, what we're going to do is go up here to tool paths and click drill. In fact, most of the things you'll be doing, and in fact, the only things I'm going to be showing you, um, is how to drill and how to contour. So you really don't have to worry about the other stuff down below. You can mess around with it and learn it on your own. Um, but most of the machining that you can do, and the most of the machining we do, is just a, basically a drill or contour, and sometimes a pocket. And so we're going to go to drill here and hit check mark. And then it brings up this dialog box. Um, and basically, we can choose the points. Notice here it says select the points and hit escape when finished. And so the points that we want to drill at are these small little holes. And so if you zoom in, if you look very carefully, the, there's a center dot where you could select that point. And so you'd want to select it there. You need to be careful not to select it out at the edge, because if you select it out at the edge, then that's where it's going to drill. And so you need to select it right there. And then you can zoom out and select here. And zoom out and select at every other point along here. Okay, click here. And it should leave a little, um, little symbol here to show that you've selected it. Okay, and then we can keep going through. It looks like I may have missed the first one. Didn't select it properly. Having problems zooming. Okay, so I need to select that so it, it shows up. And then just keep going through each point. That can be cumbersome if there's many points. And so there's another way to do that. And so I'm actually going to just exit out of here and show you a quicker way if you want to select a number of points. And so what you would again do is go tool paths and then you would go drill. This dialog comes up again. You just hit check. That's basically the name of the operation. If you want to name it, drill on the specific side, you can say that. But I typically just leave it as a default. And so I hit OK. So the, the shortcut um, way to select many points would be um, to use um, this, which is um, mask on arc. And so what I'm going to do is click mask on arc. And what it says here is select arc to match. Basically, what I'm going to do is select an arc of a certain radius, which would just be the holes that we're looking at. And then what we're going to do is select that surface. And then once we've selected that surface, we'll be able to select every arc um, of that same radius. And so I'm going to just select the surface. And then it says select arcs and hit enter when finished. And so I want to select the arcs, but notice I want to select the arcs just in the surface, not on the entire piece. And so one way to do that would be to go to maybe the front view here. And notice I have a front view. And what I can do then is just select just the top region of the piece here. Make a rectangle around it. Notice I just have the top region there. And then I hit enter. And notice it says eight points are defined. And if I do the isometric view again, you can see that it selected the eight points on that side. If you see maybe 50 points, then you, what's happened is you've selected too many points. So once I've selected those points, I can click OK. And then it brings up this dialog, which is the dialog that chooses things that we need to do to um, tell how deep and what order and all of those things of how we want to drill these holes. And so that's what we're going to look at next.